Hi, this is Julie Weissar from New Horizons 123 and New Horizons 123 Productions, which is the video marketing arm of New Horizons 123. As many of you know, I make an awful lot of videos and I use PowerPoint and I use Windows Movie Maker and a combination of both. But there are times that I just want a quick video and I don't want to take the time to use PowerPoint to create the timings that I want or I, I just need something in a rush. And one of the products that I use is Animoto.com. It's a very fun, easy to use product that you can use for free if you want. There's several different options here. There's plans and pricing. The free version is called the Light, and that allows you to make a video of up to 30 seconds. I have the plus version, $30 a year. It's not a lot of money. I'm able to make videos of a much longer length. I am still limited to the different templates that I can use. Some of them are reserved for pro only, but that's just fine with me, so I like plus. And then there's also the reseller. So come in here and sign up. I'm already signed up, so I don't have to do that. But sign up for the free one if you've never used it before, just to make sure you like it. And if you find that you need to go beyond the 30 seconds, go for the plus, because it, at least for me, it works out just fine, and it gives me everything that I need. So since I'm already a member, I'm going to come in here and sign up or log in. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So I've done quite a few projects in here. I've used it for many different things, birthday movies for friends, um, work stuff, client stuff. It's, I, I really, really like this program. One of the things that I like a lot also is that even after you've finished a project and you've published it, you can still come back in and you can edit that same project so that you can change it. So it's never completely finished. You always have the option to come in and make changes to it. So the first thing you want to do is come up here and to create video. Now, Adam Nato literally just changed their user interface a couple of days ago. I was surprised when I came in here, but pleasantly surprised because this makes it even easier to use. You're going to choose your video style, and as you see from here, there's many different options, not an exorbitant amount, but you don't really need that. There are some that are labeled pro. Obviously, if you don't have a pro account, you can't use them. But there's enough variety in the non-pro versions that I think it really works well for anybody's purposes. I just This was literally and added just a few days ago, at least from what I saw. And I just did a video for a client with it, and I think it's kind of neat. It sort of has that antique -y look, and it's just a little bit different. I really liked what it looked like. The another one um, that you, it's, kind of, it's out of the box. It's very, very different. And if you want something kind of funky and different, this is a nice one, colorful. I've done a couple of these also. It's, it's cool. It's different if you want something just to stand out. If you want something that's just going to show your images and not have them flying in and out with boxes going all over the place. Simplicity is a good one for that. So let's try walking you through how to create a video using Simplicity. Now as you saw, I was able to preview each of these templates before I chose it so that you don't go through the whole thing and say, uh-oh, I didn't like that. So that's the preview. But now we're going to click on Create Video. Now we've already just selected that Simplicity one, so that's the one that's going to come up. This is the new interface, and it's much easier than the other one. Uh, the style is what we just chose for the template. You can go through the whole process, look at it, and say, you know, I don't like that style. I want to go back and change it. And that's not a problem. You can do that. But the next step in the process is to add the pictures and or, and or your videos into this video. And your options are taking it from your computer, from Facebook, Flickr, SmugMug, Photo Bucket, Picasa, and um, also from their collections. They have a variety of different um, images and videos, which is kind of nice. So for our purposes, I'm just going to grab a couple of pictures off of my desktop. And I'm sort of doing this on the fly, so I have no idea what we're going to come up with. Let's just pick two or three apples and oranges. I just want to give you an idea of how this is done. And let's pick another one. How about somebody flying down there, and here's another one. Um, how about an angel? Let's just use the three images. Just they have, they have nothing to do with each other. We're going to make up the story as we go along. 
the next step here, you can choose your music. I, I prefer in, to choose the text next because you want to see how everything's going to fit together. So when, when you click on the add text, you have your header field and your text field. The header limits you to 22 characters and the text 30 characters. Whenever you're using anything templated, particularly templated video products, there are limitations such as the length of the text. There's also limitations when you're using Animoto as to the flexibility that you don't actually have using this product in where the images are going to be flying in and out and exactly what they're doing. That kind of flexibility comes when you use something like PowerPoint or Windows Movie Maker. But the benefits to me far outweigh these limitations. If you want a quick video, and Animoto works really great for that. So let's let's come up with a header and say this is a trial for Animoto. And whoops, can't do that because I used up too many letters. How about this is for fun? Okay. And the text they give you more in the text. And we're going to put, let's see how this works. And then I'm going to hit save. Now that's over here, but that's the, I want that to be the beginning. I want it to be the beginning of my video. So all you do is click and drag. Can't get much easier than that. Let's add another text and let's say, how did this work? Now you don't, you don't have to put anything in the text. You can leave that out. It would help if I spelled that right. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, got it. I'm not going to put any text in this because I don't want to. I don't have to. You don't have to fill that in. So let's just click Save. And that, of course, is going to be at the end because that's the thing I want as my last part of the video. Then your next step here is going to be to choose music. They have their own collections of music and they're lot of them. The only thing that I find is most of them, I'd say about 90% of them have vocals with it and you don't always want to have somebody singing words unless they really, really go along with what your the, the mood and the purpose of your video is. So the other option that you have is you can upload music from your computer and I, I pretty much do that most of the time but there are times that the, it, it does work using some of their music. Romantic I've never used because I've never done a romantic video, but I know there people are there out there that do do that. The singer-songwriter um, has quite a couple, uh, quite a few tunes in here that are kind of nice. The other one that I enjoyed is, I don't like country, so I don't really do anything with country, but hip-hop or pop, pop has some nice things. They give you the length of the video, the length of the audio, I mean, and what's nice here is that you can listen to the song before you put it into your video. So there's nothing worse than putting it in, listening to the video and going, I really don't like that. I've used this song before a couple of times. So it's kind of nice. It's a beat. So let's select that one and add it to our movie. Now the next thing that we do is we hit produce movie. So what it's going to do, it's going to render it. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to show you. See, it's processing, composing, and producing. You come over to my videos. And you will see right here that this, I didn't give it a title, which you obviously can do when you're doing it. This video is producing, this project is producing the video. So while that's processing, I want to show you some other examples. I did one here for a client. did it the first time. I said, you know what, I needed to make some changes. I came in did it the second time, the third time. You can change it and edit it as many times as you want, which is, I mean, this one over here, yardsales.com. I mean, I, it took me... One, two, three, four, five, six shots until I got it to be exactly what I want. So if you come in here and take a look at one of them, I'm going to show you some of the options that you have once you're in here. Once you're inside your video that's already been rendered, you can share it. Now the sharing is going to be sharing it from Animoto.com. And that's not a problem if you don't have a problem with that. You can also embed it. It gives you the embed code that you can put right into your website. You can download it if you wanted to use it in conjunction with other videos or Windows Movie Maker, which I've done. So you download it to your desktop and then you upload it into Windows Movie Maker and you can add and do all sorts of cool stuff with that. You can export it. 
Nice thing here is you can export it right to YouTube or SmugMug. It does it right for you. And then your tools, you can remix it or delete it. I don't want to delete it, so I'm going to leave it there. Now let's go back and see if that video is done. It's pretty short, so it should be. Yep, I have no idea what it's going to sound like or look like because there was no rhyme or reason to my adding these. I just wanted to give you an idea of how to use this product because it's that easy. So let's take a look at the video. And that's it. Now, I will often take out the animato.com. I will d upload or download it to my computer. If I'm using it in Windows Movie Maker, I will crop that out. I do, when uploading it to YouTube, show that I did publish and, and create this video on animato.com so that the credit is given where credit is due. I just don't like what it looks like in my video. But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a really, really easy to use highly functional video platform that you can make videos very, very quickly on. And I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that worked for you. If you have any other questions, please give me a call at 914-522-6411 or you can email me at info at newhorizons123.com. I'm full of advice and help, helpful suggestions on using videos. I tend to speak in video. I don't do video cameras, so everything I do is video. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.